Whiskey is history. It's not just Scottish history or Irish history, but in fact, it's a distinct part of American history. There's more to whiskey than what's in the glass. Taverns and bars have been really crucial for American history. Considering from the very beginning, Americans always went to taverns to discuss the issues of the day. The history of whiskey is also the story of freedom the freedom to connect and create. I met my wife through the Whiskey Connection. She came over and uh, I said, can I buy you a drink? And she says, sure, what, what are you drinking? And I said, well, I'm drinking this whiskey that I make. And she says, well, you make your own whiskey? And I'm like, well, yes, I do. My family opened up their first bar here around the turn of the century. And I grew up on the stories of them setting up whiskey bottles at the end of the casket. What you'll find here at this bar is a lot of passionate people who just want to be part of a community. It's the classic American story. Commerce brought people together and spurred innovation. This flowering of creativity began decades ago, but prohibition all but shut off the tap of progress. It didn't last, but heavy alcohol regulations persisted. With the end of prohibition, American consumers had far less choice than they would have otherwise, and it took then decades before state laws began to change. Once they started loosening up the laws to allow these craft distillers to start producing products, people began jumping into the game. That competition drives innovation, giving everyone more choice. The reason that I opened up a place like Jack Rose was because I kept trying one whiskey and that led to another whiskey and led to another whiskey, and you saw what a breadth of whiskeys there are out there. And the customers that come in here follow that same philosophy. They're looking for the next great whiskey, and that just fuels the need to have every whiskey on the shelf. Connecting buyers and sellers, whiskey shows us how people create value for each other. You never know what you're gonna like, right? I don't have that deep a knowledge of whiskey, and to have so many options, you know, you, you get to explore it. It's a journey, I guess. Variety is the spice of life. Every day, new products are imagined, created, and enjoyed. This is the beauty of a dynamic market. There's this whole movement to go back to manufacturing. People are looking at process, looking at what it takes to make a whiskey, and realizing that there's a great craftsmanship. There's always been a great deal of creativity in the whiskey process. Consumers today see it at the front end. That is, when you're at the bar, and a bartender makes you a brilliant drink. But you don't really see the back end and how much creativity goes into the distilling process. We're a new little branch on a whiskey family tree that goes back thousands of years. We just try and take the best of that tradition and bring ideas, innovations. If you look at the different levels of smokes you could put onto the malt, the different ways you could toast applewood, it's infinite. It's such a nuanced spirit, and people are just really getting into drinking, not quantity, but quality. It really is a race to see who can create the most different whiskey right now, and it's exciting. Business is about more than competition. It builds relationships. If bartenders are only selling booze, they're not very good bartenders. There's a lot more that goes into learning whiskey besides just drinking it. And when you share that information, that sort of creates a special connection there amongst other whiskey lovers. Throughout society, markets create and share information about quality, price, and value. It is the one spirit that really just binds everyone. The opportunity to create and innovate, enjoy and profit, brings people together. I just had this little glimmer of an idea to malt our own barley. No distillers were doing that in the United States when I started. To malt barley, we needed a source, so I contacted Virginia Tech. They put me in touch with Billy Dawson, who's come to be our farmer for the last 12 years. He's become a good friend. We were malting about 150 ton a year, turning it into this fabulous whiskey. We both benefit. I'm sure his business has done well because we've done well. 
It just takes a lot of people and systems to make this work. Bottle makers, the label people, the whole sales process, the retail operators. I love the connections that I have all over the country and the world. It takes committed teams working together and thousands of transactions to make even the simplest products. The passion I have for the spirit from the grains to the stills to the master distiller, you can't help but fall in love with doing this. No matter how old a whiskey is or how rare a whiskey is, the important part is to enjoy it, especially with friends. Spirits allow us to be a bit more spiritual. They give us a certain feeling of the sacred in our own lives. They raise it up. They make us more human, or so I think. Whiskey is science, chance, time, risk, ingenuity, love, intensity. It's all in a glass when it's done right. My name's on the bottle, but I'm not like the inventor of whiskey. I'm just a little guy trying to bring something new to the world that people will enjoy. And that's the power of whiskey, this love of this single spirit and the way to reconnect everyone back to the roots a little bit. When the freedom to connect and create gives everyone more choices, then the only question is, how do you whiskey? How do I whiskey? Uh, on the rocks now. I whiskey the old fashioned way. I whiskey with friends and family. It is definitely the human spirit.